Today we're going to explore the ins and outs of the Samsung Galaxy A54, a mid-range smartphone that is trying to break some flagship barriers. Now, the big question is, is it really a game changer in its segment? My name is Siri Lokoy. Let's find out if the A54 is the king of mid-range devices. Let's jump in and see what's in the box. First, we see the A54 made of plastic and glass. Let's put this aside. Next, we have the USB-C cable a SIM injector tool and the usual documentation which includes warranty and user guide. Now you might have noticed that there's no charger or a paired or wired headphone in the box. This is part of Samsung's initiative to reduce electronic waste as users already have chargers from their previous devices. If you do need a charger, you have to purchase it separately. The Galaxy A54 supports 25 watts fast charging. So keep that in mind while buying a charger. The Samsung Galaxy A54 boosts a sleek and modern design that's quite impressive for a mid-range device. The phone features Corning Gorilla Glass 5 front and back, providing protection against scratches and drops. Its slim profile and curved edges makes it comfortable to hold and easy to grip. The A54 comes in a variety of eye-catching colors, which is awesome graphite, awesome lime, awesome white, and awesome violet. This gives you a chance to pick a shade that suits your style. The A54 features a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED screen with a punch hole cutout for the front facing camera. This design choice allows for an immersive, nearly bezel-less viewing experience. The Galaxy A54 comes with an in-screen fingerprint scanner, which is quite impressive for a mid-range device. The optical scanner is integrated into the AMOLED display, providing a seamless unlocking experience. In my testing, the fingerprint scanner performed really well. It was generally fast and accurate with just a few optional misread. The scanner's placement on the lower portion of the screen makes it easy and accessible for one hand use. It also supports multiple registered fingerprints for your convenience. On the right side, we have the power and volume button. At the bottom, you find the USB C ports, the primary speakers. At the top, there's a secondary speaker a secondary noise cancelling microphone and the SIM card tray, which supports two nano SIMs and a micro SD. For the performance, the Galaxy A54 is powered by the Exynos 1380 chipset, which is an octa core processor built on a 6 nanometer processor. I tested the 8GB RAM and the 128 storage variants, and it handled everyday tasks like web browsing, social media messaging with no hiccup. It also fared well with more demanding games with high graphic settings. For the battery, the Galaxy A54 packs a sizable 5000mAh battery. With the 25 watt charger, it took me 45 minutes to charge from 0 to 50%, and from 0 to 100, it took me 90 minutes. Next, let's talk about the camera. Now, the camera department is where the Galaxy A54 shines. It has a rare camera setup featuring 50 megapixel. 12 megapixel ultra wide and 5 megapixel macro lens. This device captures detailed and vibrant images with good lighting. The night mode works exceptionally well, bringing out details and colors even in low lighting situations. The 32 megapixel front facing camera delivers cool selfies, although skin tones are not natural. The portrait mode effectively blurs backgrounds, providing a nice bouquet effect. The main camera takes sharp and colorful photos and the ultra-wide lens captures wide scene photos. For the software, the Galaxy A54 runs on Samsung's One UI 5.1 based on Android 13. This offers a clean and intuitive interface, along with useful features like AR emoji camera and a host of customization options. The phone is set to receive four years of major software updates and five years of security updates. Other notable features include IP67 water and dust resistance, NFC for contactless payment, and Dolby Atmos support for enhanced audio experience. Now, let's jump to my conclusion. The Samsung Galaxy A54 is an impressive mid-range device, offering a combination of premium design, Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection, a beautiful display, solid performance, excellent battery life, and a versatile camera system that gives you okay pictures. I would say it's the best device I've reviewed this year because I think the Apple Reno 8 is quite better than it because of the build, the display, and the price. But then again, it's Samsung and everybody loves and trusts them. So that's it for the review for the Samsung Galaxy A54. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave any questions or thoughts in the comment section. Until next time, bye guys.